Hiya. Um, just been down to Technics and accidentally bought a Simplex. Um, I need two beach detectors. I've got my mind lab um, Equinox 600, but the power pack's gone on that. It's going to wait a few days for that to arrive. And so I thought I decided it's time to get another one. Right, so here it is. There. And there. And uh, the Technics are only doing mail order stuff. But I'm going to give them a shout out, not because they're, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but they bent over backwards to get this to me. So um, they're in Fontwell. I'll put a picture on now. And uh, it's mail order only, but if you pay by card over the phone and stand outside the shop, they'll, uh, they'll pass it to you. So there you go. So I'm quite impressed with that. Other than that, I'll be waiting a few more days for one of these. So uh, let's undo it. Uh, where's the clips? Let's even seal there. Right, okay, see you in a sec. Right, so looking at the tubing, it looks the same as a Deus tubing to me. Whether it's the same spec or not, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. And there's, there it always what has been noticed is you've got height sizes on there. I don't know if you can see one, two, three to six. There, or five even. No, it is six. So I'm going to put it on number six. Right, here it is, fully assembled. Um, there's plenty of length on the cable. I've got it as tall as it will go, up to number six. I'm six foot three. And I can just use it with a little bit of a stoop. Um, so they need a tall man shaft for it. So if anyone wants to make one of those, that'd be great. And one other criticism I've got. It's not really a criticism, it's more of an observation. I mean, don't forget it's 299 quid detector, or 279 I got it for. Right, so this is... This is um, too short. This is the um, headphone adapter. I'm no fan of wireless headphones. Everyone who knows me knows I don't use them because um, people spend far too much time trying to get the headphones to talk to their metal detectors than actually detecting themselves. So um, if they made that longer, and if it managed to go up through the back of the shaft here, and then out the back here, sort of like a Fisher F75, that that would be good. But I can make an extension for that, so that's not not an issue. The um, the shaft on its full extension is wobbly. It is really wobbly. So. If anyone's going to make a tall man shaft, if they can make that a bit more substantial than what we got there, that'd be great. Because I'm sure there will be extra stems and stuff. But yeah, other than that, I've used my wife's on the beach and I was pretty impressed with it. I've got no idea what the numbers mean. So what I'm going to do is go out tonight, metal detecting with my headlamp because I don't do very well in the hot sun. And either I'll come back with loads of crap and... Um, at least I know the IDs, numbers for all the crap. And uh, anyway, I'll do live digs all the way through. I'll see you tonight. Right, so my first dig of the night is a 76 or 73. And here's a bottle top. I oh, will keep that just so I can make a discrimination pattern. Right, so I've got to collect beach ammunition. That's uh, interference from Lee's knocks there. And I have got a 31, I think that was. Pull ring. Right. 45, 46, got to be a 20p according to that little chart there. Yeah, there you go, 20p. And the coin gets a definite hard hit. It really does. 71, 72. Let's dig it up. Well, there you go, nice pound coin, lovely. Oh, with my son, by the way, Andrew there. Yeah, nice pound coin. Right. This is my new coin monster. This is better than the Nox, much better. Definitive numbers, everything, you know, because the Nox only does like roundabout numbers. This has got 99 numbers, 45, 20p. Loving that. Right, this is how good the machine is. I know I've got the numbers written there, but I can call the numbers out already and I've only been out here five minutes there you go, 20p on a 45. Yeah, lovely. Right, this one hit at a 76, so 
I would imagine that's not an iron core penny. I think that's a proper one. Yeah, brilliant. Right, my son is too shy to be on camera, but I just dug a big hole there. And where did, where did it go, Andrew? Oh, there you go. 20p, 45. It called it all the way. Lee's probably got a lot more coins than what I've got going on at the moment, but I'm just loving this, digging everything. I've got a pocket full of bottle tops because I want to keep those for making a discrimination pattern. And I've just dug out, show you. A London bus. See that? Yeah. Right, so I'm only going to be out two hours maximum because I'm with a 13 year old son of mine who needs to go to bed. But there, just picked out that. That was on like an 18. Bit of rubbish, but I'll take it home anyway. Right, my son Andrews, please, because all the money is going to him tonight. Two hours we're out for. There you go, on a 40 dead on. 50p. I'm loving it. I'm loving this machine. Right, so on a 45, well, between 43 and 45, got a nice 20p there. Yeah, um, sorry I'm not showing you live digs and that, but I've just dug so much rubbish tonight. Right, this is iron core, this coin, so it flicks between 87 and 92. And they are nice new dropped penny, or recently dropped penny. Right, bang on a 71 pound coin. So we've been here one and a half hours so far, so just got about a couple of quid. Lee's got about a fiver, but obviously he knows what he's looking for on a Nox. I'll probably have the same if I was on a Nox, because I'm, I'm just digging everything at the moment. There you go, pound coin. So this signal was a bit all over the place, which is quite worrying, so there might be another pound coin with it but this was like anywhere from 65 to 72 for some reason but never mind it sounded good so I dug it and the reason why it was a bit iffy because it had a 20p in there as well yeah so that's all right it's redeemed itself now there you go another 20p that hole is lovely because that's why the signal was all over the place where the pound coin came from another 50p as well all new and shiny look I, I was I went out the other day and I was always finding was old coins these are new drops which is nice and promising that is this coin spill keeps giving there you go another pound another pound oh nice right so uh, dug out a pound I didn't think it was a target at first I was just about to discard it and it sort of flicked out the edge it sounds uh, sounds really good I'll dig over anything that sounds like that right pound see that there 68 it's an old pound coin look there's one there bang on a 68 not bad not bad at all I'm really starting to like this. It needs to be longer though. I'm six foot three. I'm really struggling or detecting with a stoop while, while using it. So uh, I need a tall man stem, Nocta, if right, you're so listening. 13 year old out for a right, test quick. run with the uh, new detector, the Simplex, and just to show him how to detect. And uh, this is Lee's finds. Uh, well, basically, headphones, glasses. Oh. Lighter. Oh yeah, he's got everyone <laughs> Lead weight. A bulldog clip. Oh yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah, blueberry um, two peas. Yep. And two, four, six, seven, eight pound, fifteen P. A little bit of bling. Oh nice. And of course the zip. The zip, right. So I collected all these on purpose because I want to listen to them and see if, how they hit. But, oh, and also, of course, the obligatory lighter. I haven't found a key tonight, which is unusual. Yes. And here's the change. I've used my son's phone to, uh, to use because it's a flat surface. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds. One, two, three, four, five. Eight pounds, five P for two hours. Not bad. And look at that. They're new coins as well. So, they're new, fresh drops, which is good. 
Right, and then I'm going to try and make a discrimination pattern using this lot. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I love this, by the way. I absolutely love it. It needs a longer stem, so if anyone's out there who can make stems, give me a shout. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.